Okay, today we're going to talk about this new chapter called Correction of Errors, Chapter 13. <clears throat> okay, in Chapter 13, there are four main things that you need to know. Number one, six errors not revealed by a trial balance. Number two, how to correct the journal entries. Number three, statement. You need to, o need, you need to learn how to open a statement to show the corrected net profit. And number four, five errors revealed by a trial balance. Okay, this part one of the video, I'm only going to talk about the first one, the first pointer, six errors not revealed by a trial balance. Okay, so let us look at the six errors. Uh, basically, in a when a trial balance balance, right, it does not mean that it is 100% correct. Okay, there can still be some errors that occur, yet somehow, somehow, your trial balance, you manage to balance it. Okay, we are going to look at the six errors which can happen, yet your trial balance still balance. Okay, the first error is called error of omission. Second error, complete reversal. Third error, original entry. Fourth error, compensating error. Fifth error and the sixth error, they are very similar, error of commission and principle. This is also the two error that students always mix it up. So therefore, I put this two last. Okay, I'm going to start off with the simplest one first, which is error of omission. Okay, error of omission, basically, omission comes from the word omitted. Right? English word omitted. When I say omitted, it means completely missed out. This is English. Huh? Omission comes from the root word omit or omitted. So omitted means you completely left out the whole transaction. You totally forgot to record at all. Okay? Uh, let us look at an example. Now, look at example one. This example says that a cash payment of $1,600 for rent has been omitted from the books, which means you made a payment of 1006 for rent, but you omitted from the books, which means you totally forgot to write it inside your books. So very obvious, this one should be error of omission, isn't it? Yep, this is very simple. That's why I say I start off with the simplest one first. Okay, yep, you see, one error down. Now, we look at the second error. Second error is called error of complete reversal. Reversal comes from the word reverse or reversed. In this case, mean reversed equals to opposite. What I mean by that, let us look at an example. Complete reversal, eh? it means reversed. Now, look at example two. It says that a payment of $700 to creditor Marta was credited to Marta account and debited to cash account. Some people don't see the error in this um, transaction, right? I mean, you don't see the error. What is the question trying to say? It's correct, what, isn't it? Okay, let me show you what is wrong here. All right, let us uh, write the correct entries first. Huh? Correct entries okay by right you pay creditor money do you owe creditor more money or less money i repeat you owe creditor money now you have the money already you decided to pay your creditor after paying your creditor you should owe your creditor more money or less money Less money, isn't it? You paid people, you owe them less. So it should be debit creditor Martha. Okay, and then what should you credit? Basically, you paid people money, your own money will go down, correct? You will have lesser cash now. So I have to credit cash $700, okay? This is the correct entry. But what you did wrong was, this was what you did, huh? this is your wrong entries. Let me put this in red. Wrong entries, okay? This is given by the question. Question says that you debited to cash. Oh, so you debit cash, and then you credited to creditor. Creditor Martha. This is what the question says. Wrong entries, correct? Now, do you see the difference between the correct one and the wrong one? You compare side by side. Now you see, you are supposed to debit creditor, but what did you do? You credit creditor, yep. And then you are supposed to credit cash, but what did you do? You debit cash. Isn't this opposite? Yep, you are supposed to debit this, credit that, but you credit that, debit this, 
right? So this one is called reverse, right? So this is, we name this error as error of complete reversal. That means you completely reverse it around, okay? This is your complete reversal, right? Then we come to the next one. Uh, go back to here, original entry, the third error that we are going to introduce to you is called error of original entry. Now, textbook says that original entry, it's a wrong amount recorded in a book of original entry or a document such as an invoice and subsequently posted to the ledger account. Okay, if you read your textbook, you may not understand what the textbook is trying to say. Let me just make life simple for you. I like to name this as number wrong, so-called number wrong. Eh? I put an invoice comma to it because this is not proper English um, yeah so you you phrase it however you want to phrase it okay but what do I mean by number wrong here is let us look at the example it says purchase of stationery from $96 from papers manufacturers limited was posted at $69 so what is the mistake here Again, we begin with the correct entries first. Is this the purple? Oh, no. Okay, correct entries. Huh? Correct entries. Okay, this is what you are supposed to do. Because you bought stationery from papers manufacturers, right? So stationery will go up. You have more stationery now. You should debit stationery. Uh, how much is it? $96, right? And then you are supposed to, assuming that like, you pay by cash, okay, you your cash will go down. After you make payment to people, you have lesser money, your cash will go down. So you credit cash, $96, right? This is the correct entry. This is what you are supposed to do. But, there's always but, right? In correction of error, in wait, uh, this is what you did wrong entries instead of uh, debit you debit stationary correct you're not wrong correct entry should be debit, debit stationary right you debited stationary as well but instead of $96 what you did was you put $69 and then credit cash right you credited cash not wrong but instead of $96 again you put $69 do you see what I mean by number wrong? Entries is exactly the same. It's just that instead of $96, you put $69. This is what I mean by number wrong. Okay? And for this error, we call this error of number wrong, error of original, error of original entry okay originally when you first record it you already recorded it wrongly okay original entry then we are done isn't it simple right now the fourth one eh? fourth one textbook says compensating error I'm com I'm at number four compensating error now fourth one textbook says that oh compensating error is an error on the debit side compensated by an error of equal amount on the credit side so again I'm gonna make your life easier just look for keywords like undercast and overcast okay compensating error look for keywords like undercast and overcast look at example four do you see both sales and purchases account were overstated Overstated and overcast, they mean the same, almost the same. So this question says, both sales and purchases account were overstated by $50. So, which means, isn't this um, uh, your compensating error? Yeah, undercast, overcast means compensating error. Now, to make compensating error clearer, hang on, let me just key this in. This is your compensating error okay what compensating error means is that although you look for keyword like undercast overcast you still need to understand what is this error talking about isn't it it basically says that you have two different mistakes okay for in this scenario example for your sales account was accidentally over added you put too much by $50. By right, uh, when you put your sales account too much by $50, your accounts will not balance. 
But however, coincidentally, purchaser's account, you also put $50 too much. So, which means at the end of the day, your one mistake will cover the other mistake. And eventually, your accounts will still balance. Okay, clear? This is error of uh, compensation or compensating error. Look for keywords under cast, over cast. All right? Now, I'm at the fifth and the sixth one. Like I said, this two is the, not confusing, but uh, because they're so similar, people tend to mix them up. Error of commission. This one is same nature, same category. Okay? Uh, write this down on your notes. Same nature, same category. And this one, principle, is same nature, different category. Okay, write this down first. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to explain what I mean by same nature, same category, and different category very soon. Okay, are you ready? Now, we are going to talk about error of commission. Look at this example, example 5. It says, a credit sale of 450 to debtor Cheryl was posted to Cheryl's account. Do you see? One Cheryl start with C, one Cheryl start with S, although they are pronounced the same way, but they are two different people, isn't it? Right? So, maybe your boss tell you that, hey, uh, uh, I made a credit sale 450 to Cheryl, no? Can you please go and uh, record it inside the account? Then you thought your boss is referring to this Cheryl, the one that starts with uh, S, right? This Cheryl. But actually, your boss is talking about the Cheryl who starts uh, with a C, Dr. Cheryl, okay? Now, this is the mistake. Are you clear? No matter whether it's Debtor Cheryl or Debtor Cheryl, they are both your asset, isn't it? Debtor Cheryl is an asset. The other Debtor Cheryl is also an asset. Okay? So, asset and asset. Now, because both of them are assets, so this one will be plus. This one will be minus. And this side will be plus. This side will be minus as well. So, do you see that they are of the same nature? Same nature meaning where is their plus sign? Is it on the debit side or credit side? So very obvious, both these accounts, their plus sign is on the debit side. So both of them are debit in nature. Debit in nature, are they of the same nature? Definitely, yes. And then the other one is it must be of the same category. The other criteria is same category. This is asset, Dr. Cheryl is asset. That the Cheryl, the other Cheryl, is also an asset. So, does it satisfy these two criteria? Same nature? Yes, both debit in nature, right? Same category? Yes, both of them are assets. So, this one is error of commission, right? Blue. Error of commission, okay? Yep, done. All right, then we look at the last one. Repairs to motor vehicles, $90 was posted to motor vehicles account. Many students don't see the problem with this sentence. Now, let me point this out to you. Uh, I repeated this quite a few times, but I'm going to say this one more time. Repair to motor vehicle is an expense, isn't it? When you repair your motor vehicle, let's say, you know, engine overhaul or anything like that, uh, you repair motor vehicle, it's considered an expense. It's a bad thing, right? Oh, no. Um, your motor vehicle spoil. You have to spend money to repair it. This is something bad. This is an expense. Whereas, motor vehicle account is not an expense account. It's an asset account. This account records nothing but buying and selling of motor vehicles only. So, very obvious, repairs cannot go to motor vehicles account, right? Okay, one is repair, one is expense. Now, expenses account, debit nature or credit nature? Where is the plus sign? Plus sign is on the debit side. Okay, plus, minus. And then for motor vehicle, asset, plus sign is also on the debit side. Now, both the plus sign is on the debit side means this one is debit in nature, this one is also debit in nature. Are they same nature? Yes. Both of them are debit in nature. Are they the same category? No. 
because one is an expense, the other one is an asset. Do you see? So one is expense, one is asset. They are both different um, category. Fulfill or not? Error of principle must be same nature. Yes, both of them are debit nature. It must be different category. Yes, one is expense category, one is asset category. Okay, with that, I've already finished explaining the six errors not reviewed by a trial balance. I've prepared a worksheet for you. You are supposed